Hi, the goal of this recording is to show you how to use search to go and have it actually connect to your Salesforce.com instance. So the reason that we ask for a security token is this is something that Salesforce.com requires to make sure that it's actually you that's trying to access your Salesforce data. So to get your security token set up, you can either click the token instructions button directly in, in search to go or you can just watch this video and I'll kind of walk you through the steps that you need to follow to get that information in there. The nice thing about it is once you do this, you won't have to do this again unless you do change your salesforce.com password. So the first thing you need to do is generate a security token so you know what to put in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go and log into Salesforce, go to the setup, and go to my personal information. So you'll see underneath my personal information you've got an option here for reset my security token. When you click that, it'll bring up some information, and all you need to do is click Reset My Security Token. Once you click that, it's going to go ahead and generate a security token for you and email it to you to your email address. So once that email comes in, you'll have your security token available. So now that you've got that security token, the next step is to take that security token and actually get it into search to go So there's a couple of different ways you can do that. The way I'm going to show you today is actually to create an address book entry and then synchronize that directly into your iPhone. So you'll notice in my iPhone I've got no information here. So what I want to do is go ahead and click Done and close Search to Go. Now I'm going to go over and check my email. So here's the email that has my security token in it. You can see this is my salesforce.com login for my dev account. All I'm going to do is copy this security token and I need to create a new entry in my address book. In my case, I'm on a Mac, but this, the same thing would happen if you're utilizing Outlook on the Windows side. So if I create a new entry, I need to have an entry named SFDC for Salesforce.com. And in this entry, for my email address, I need to have my Salesforce.com username. And then what I also need to do in the notes field is paste that security token. So this is the security token that's pasted directly out of this email. I need to paste that in here and click Save. Once I save that, I need to actually synchronize my iPhone to make sure that this contact comes over to my contact list in, um, in search to go So if I go into my contact list, after syncing that, I should have a contact here called SFDC. And if I open that up, I should be able to see my Salesforce username as well as my security token as a note. And that's what search to go is going to look for to pull that in directly to the account. Optionally, you can type this into search to go but the problem with that is it's obviously a long token, it's mixed case, and sometimes it's not easy to type in something like that into search to go So now that I've got that created, all I need to do is click search address book. So what that's going to do is say, hey, do you want to search your contacts for that login information? I click yes. It says, hey, I found a user. And now you'll see that it brought in my username as well as that token. I can go ahead and enter my password and type in my password and click done. And then I'll be logged in directly into um, salesforce.com from search to go So I hope this gave you a good feel for um, one, one simple way to actually add that information directly into search to go so that you can start utilizing this product and have the ability to search your contacts, your leads, your opportunities. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at modelmetrics.com or give us a call and we'd be happy to help you out. Thank you.